The violence that began after an alleged stone pelting in the rally that was actually taken out by VHP Bajrang Dal saw an after effect of the cyber police station of No coming under attack. You can see that the police vehicles have been completely charred and this is something which lies testimony to the fact that this violence cannot be called communal alone. It's almost like that at the uh, hindsight of a communal violence, there were people who were trying to get revenge. It's important to point it out that recently the new cyber department has been behind the a crackdown of cyber criminals. It cannot be looked away that the criminals, the alleged people uh, who have been arrested might have taken the advantage of a communal violence to attack the cyber police station of NU. We'll go inside the police station, give you an understanding how this uh, entire police station has come under attack. You can understand that the entire police station has been heavily attacked. It has come under uh, attack. Here you can see that uh, there are uh, glass shards that are also lying. And uh, what we are being told that this entire attack took place after uh, that, uh, uh, that, that rally uh, where the, uh, <clears throat> there was stone pelting allegedly which then subsequently saw the entire police stations being burned down. You know, we'll also go behind um, the uh, police station to show you that how this wasn't just uh, an attack which we can call a knee-jerk reaction. Somewhere down the line looks uh, something which uh, was actually done well coordinated. You can see, you can see how uh, stones were thrown and clearly, you can see these bricks was thrown. And we do know the two home guards from uh, the Haryana Police Department have also lost their life. This clearly points out that we cannot suggest that this attack was, uh, I mean, it was a knee-jerk reaction. You can see police vehicles torched. These are barracks where people sleep. These are places where uh, police officials take quick rest uh, while I mean they take some time from the off and you can see that this is a very coordinated attack that was actually carried out at NU cyber police station. It is important to point out that the cyber department in NU has been behind the crackdown of cyber criminals since the last few months. We cannot look away that this violence in all likelihood was actually used to attack the team which has been behind breaking the cyber nexus that has also been running in New Haryana. Now this is one of the walls of the cyber police station which was actually barged in by this particular bus that you can see. What we are learning from the police uh, sources here on the ground, they tell us that these people uh, had actually looted this bus and subsequently they travelled in this bus and they barged in. Now just to give you an understanding of the kind of uh, attack that has taken place. You can look at uh, the bus, there are bricks lying down. People uh, have somewhere down the line fled while this bus was looted and subsequently then this bus was used by the uh, miscreants to break the wall of the cyber police station. Once again, uh, we are trying to point it out that this attack at NU's cyber police station isn't uh, only because uh, there was a communal violence. This is clearly a coordinated attack, which police sources have also told India today, because NU was recently, at, uh, I mean, had done a huge crackdown on cyber criminals. Police sources who were present inside, at least eight to 10 officers, clearly told us that the kind of crowd who has gathered, they had come to seek revenge for the the arrests that had happened in the cyber uh, against the cyber criminals. Remember, Mewat is infamous right now as one of the cyber crime hot spots. Clearly, this entire picture which you see is something that tells about the revenge that was taken for the arrests that have happened so far. What we clearly do understand that uh, we cannot call this a one-off case of communal violence because the manner in which the cyber police station has been destroyed 
it stands testimony that this was nothing less than a revenge with video journalist dalveer this is shri acharya ji for india today